Yes, up guys, we're back with another tutorial series. This one is on X for Records Serum. And uh, as always, we have our plugin in question. And as a learning tool, we have our signal analyzer and our spectrum analyzer by rs-met.com as a learning tool. And it'll show us what's going on kind of under the hood and help us figure some stuff out. So we're going to start right away because it's been a while. And uh, yeah, so we have our four main tabs here up at the top, which would be your oscillator section, which would be sound generation, our FX section, our matrix modulation routing section, and then our global options um, and, you know, our oversampling and tuning and all that fun stuff, as well as our unison setting. But we'll get into that. So we're going to start kind of quickly, just give you a rundown of the UI you have your oscillator A and oscillator B. Um, and then you have your sub, you turn them on and off, you have all your subs here. And then your noise, noise generation, slash, it's kind of a sampler as well. Then you have your filter, and then you enable routing into the filter, cutoff, resonance, we'll get into that, a whole bunch of filters here. We have our modulation section, and then our pitch bend mod wheel, our uh, pitch bend range, portamento, uh, kind of voicing, and our keyboard. Right? Our effects section, we have a bunch of effects. You can select and kind of deselect. You can drag and drop them. You move them around. And uh, yeah, you just you can do that. They operate in series. You have your modulation matrix um, four to five times you won't be using this because you can intuitively drag and drop modulations to here and adjust the range um, but then it'll automatically show up here which is cool but uh, yeah uh, kind of different workflow and uh, yeah it's pretty cool and then your global section um, which has your chaos settings which add kind of an analog like randomness to certain things which you can map to you know you can have as a source chaos one and two and uh changing things up then you have your unison settings linear uh your super which is modeled the jp8080 which i have behind me your exponential and uh, log or random blah blah blah, blah you know just kind of goes on and on and uh you have whoosh, up here you have all your preset settings. You can, you always start in init. You can save. And then you have your preset browser here with category, which is pretty cool. Then your menu, which is pretty cool because you can read the manual. You can uh, copy, render, resample, all that fun stuff that's been added in sequential versions. Really cool because, um, you know, once you buy it, you have like a bunch of updates and uh yeah it's pretty pretty awesome so i always start on it and yeah we'll be back with more videos on serum uh hope you stick around uh take care and have a